Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do this very quick video and allow you guys to open up one of my gifts for my family nurse practitioner graduation with me. So drum roll. <coughs> Boom. Okay, here we go. So, uh oh, sorry with the coughing kid in the back. That's my son, Gabe. Um, I hope you guys are able to hear me. So this is my suture practice kit. I'm pretty sure my bestie got it off of Amazon when she ordered it. Um, on the back, she wrote a little note and she said, my favorite nurse practitioner. And then she put uh, Philippians 413. And you can see like she crossed out the RN and put NP. So thank you, bestie. Love you, girl. Okay, so let's open this up. I hope you guys can hear me um, and I'm not blocking the audio. So... My son's throwing Uno cards in the back, so please forgive him. Um, it's just a baby. So it comes like this. It comes in a little bag. You can do this here. You know, close it up, open it up. <clears throat> He's gonna show you guys his Uno cards, but hey, it's okay. Um, this is real life over here, okay? There's nothing perfect about any of this. So let's go ahead and try to keep doing this video while he's in here with me. Um, first, oh gosh, we're not cutting that out, okay? <laughs> Let's just get to this video. Okay, like, hold on for a second. Okay, so, here, okay, back to the series stuff. So, here's the scan. This is supposed to be, like, um, it's supposed to be similar to human scan. They try to get it as close as possible. It has different types of lacerations on here because obviously everybody, whoever's had a laceration before, they're not all the same. So it gives you different types to practice on and learn how to close using different types of closing techniques. So here's this one. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you guys this little thing. And this is where all the instruments are in. So I don't know why I just did that. Let me see. But here's this here. And it has things like hemostats in there, some forceps, some scissors, and all other types of things that you can use to help you in the process of suturing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Nothing too much. Throw that out the way. Next, we have um, the most important part. And this is basically, I'm not sure why it won't focus, but it's all your sutures. So it comes with 12 packs of um, sutures and it has, uh, let's see, it has different types. So we have a five, we have a four and a three and two. And we also have some Steri strips in here um, and things like that. So this little thing here. So for instance, I don't know why it won't. Okay, there you go. So this is a four. If you look over here at this number, this right here will tell you like um, how big the suture is. And um, basically the bigger the number, the smaller it is. So if you have like a deep cut, you obviously don't want to use like a very thin suture. Um, you want to go for something like thicker that's going to hold it together. So that's something that you will look at whenever you're thinking about, hey, like what kind of wound is this? What do I need to sew up? Let me go ahead and grab that. I think generally a lot of people use three um, whenever they're doing sutures. Yeah. But hey, I'm new to this. That's why Hello. I will be doing a lot of practicing. I will bring you guys along with me. And yeah, yeah. really that's all that's in there. Um, I really love this gift. I give it a 10 out of 10, but I will take you guys along with me to Utah and I'll be practicing in the car while we're driving on the road. Um, so yeah, so you'll get, you guys will get to see me getting some experience with these things and practicing before I get on the real deal patients and the urgent care. So yes, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the distractions. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I love you. Bye.